Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Helton's Computer Repair here with a video for you. If you've been trying to pretty much change permissions or ownerships to a folder by pretty much going to Properties and looking for Security folder right here, but the Security tab is pretty much missing, then how can you technically get to it if it's not there? So possibly it could be disabled. Or let's say if you're wanting to actually disable so you want to have people to access to it and change some policies to that folder. Well, in this video, we're going to be showing you how to remove or enable the security tab folder in pretty much properties, folder properties in Windows 10. So let's go ahead and get started. So there's a couple ways that this can be done. The first one can be done through registry editor that pretty much is valid for Windows 10 Home. Pro or Enterprise for this. The second option is pretty much going to be valid underneath Windows Pro or Enterprise only. If you don't have um, pretty much those, you're pretty much limited, so you have to use the registry options. But let me go ahead and show you the first one real quick. So what we're going to do is pretty much go to pretty much to start, and we're going to type in reg edit, and pretty much to the registry editor. And you'll probably be prompted to go ahead and press yes. And what we're going to do is pretty much go to current user. Now, what you do on these changes here, I'm only doing this underneath the current user. If you decide this to happen to everyone's folder to not have access to this, you would pretty much use the local machine folder instead. That pretty much means everyone. But all we're going to do is use the current user one. And all we're going to do is pretty much go to that folder right there. And we're going to go to software. Where is it at? We're on HP current user right there. And we should see one called software. Right there it is. And we're going to go to Microsoft. And we're going to scroll down until you see Windows. And from there, we're going to see a folder that's called Current Version. Go ahead and expand it. We're going to go down until you see Policies. That should be here somewhere. I literally just thought there it is Policies. And then you'll see a folder called Explore. If this folder is not there, you might need to pretty much right-click underneath that folder and select a new key. And that would pretty much would be the folder. It is a key for it. It's a little different how they have it in Registry. Regardless, you need to create that file called Explorer if it's not there. Once you get to there, select Into Explorer, and we're going to create a new D word. So right click on it, select New, D word, 32 bit value that will be important. Even if you're 64 bit, it still runs on a 32 bit feature for that. And we're going to type in No Security Tab. And that's literally all we have to do. And once you get to there, go ahead and click it and change the value from 0 to 1 for this to be enabled. So I'm going to go ahead and X this out. If I try this right now, it's possibly still there. So I, oh, it already disappeared. If it does come to a point like this, you might need to sign out of the computer and sign back in, but it seems that it automatically disappeared for it. So I can't really go to that location for it. Again, I go to properties. And I'm looking for the security tab and it's not there. So it's pretty simple right there. Now, technically, if you wanted to have this already disabled and you want to re-enable it, you would go again to registry editor. You will be prompted. Follow the same locations. I'm pretty much just going to show it to you. We went to current user. If you are using pretty much the all users underneath, what was it called? Um, local machine that pretty much applies to everyone. We're only using the current user if you want to for right now. We're going to do software, Microsoft, and we're going to go to Windows, current versions again, policies, and the folder called Explorer. And all you have to do to get rid of this is two options. You pretty much can change this value to zero, and that will pretty much do the work right there. Or the second option, you can pretty much delete the file if you don't want it there at all. They'll pretty much do the same thing. And we're pretty much going to go ahead and X this out. And now if I right click on this, I'm going to select properties. I now have access to the security. So it is working correctly. Now the second option is pretty much using the group policy. This only allows you again for Windows 10 Pro or Enterprise. So on the search bar or going pretty much start menu and typing in on the search bar. Type in GP edit. And you can type in .msc2. It'll pretty much bring the same location, if I'm correctly. And it'll pretty much would look like this. Now, again, this all depends what you're going to be doing this for. I'm only doing this currently underneath the current user configurations. You might have access to, it to the whole computer configurations. But all we're using is the user configurations for right now. And we're going to go to Administrative Templates. And we're going to go to Windows Components. And we're going to go to a folder called File Explorer. And once you get to there, this might be out of order. So I'm going to select where it says settings just to click it once. That will change the naming scheme in order for it. And we're going to scroll down until you see remove security tab that is right there. Go ahead and, and pretty much click it. And you'll have the options to enable this policy and press apply and OK. Technically, I think you could just press OK and it'll probably be fine. 
And I'm going to go ahead and just minimize it for right now. Actually, I'll go ahead and just exit out just to show you. So I'm just going to go to the folder again, go to properties. And I don't have access to it for pretty much for the security tab for it right there. So I'm not able to get to it at all. Again, to reverse this step, all you have to do is go ahead and type in GP edit. And it pretty much brings the same location. You can also type in add the .msc. It's the same thing. I'm going to expand this. I'm going to expand this open too. Again, they can see it fully. And to get to the same location, we're going to need the user configurations. We're going to go to administrative templates. And we're going to go to Windows components. And we're going to go to File Explorer. I literally just saw it. I'm literally blind. There it is, File Explorer. And once you get to there, you have to be sure they're set in correct ABC order to make it easier for you to find it. And we're going to pretty much going to look for Remove Security Tab. Your option is to pretty much disable this. That will pretty much bring it back on there. Or you can pretty much do no, Not Configured and press apply, they'll pretty much do the same thing. So now when I come to the folder again and trying to go to properties, I now have access to the security tab to customize this again. And that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching from Helton's Computer Repair and I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching guys. If you just like this video, then hit that button. But if you like it and you want to see more, hit that like button, get subscribed, comment, and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store, link in the video description. And for the rest, I will see you on the next video.